Hey, hello guys welcome to my youtube channel the topic for today is zero tire zero tire is a platform that enables smooth device connectivity across any location creating a virtual network where devices get connect as if they are in the same network for example if you want to access your home server from your laptop while traveling you will have to install zero tire both on your home server and laptop once it is connected your laptop can securely access resources on your home network as if it is physically there ZeroTier achieves this by using overlay network, peer-to-peer -peer communication, encryption, and a centralized management system. First of all, let's create an account by signing up. I'll be using my name, last name, email address. Okay, here it's done. I'll get a mail confirmation. Now we'll click on create a network and you can see under your networks you have one network you have also been provided with network id which is unique now i'll change the name to tech eyes you can give your own description there are various options to look into like for example access control private public you can manage routes you can assign ips and so on now here you can see there are no devices joined to this network so what i'll do is i'll open my kali operating system and i'll install the zero tire application into it you'll just have to copy this curl command and paste it inside your terminal note that i have already installed this application in my kali linux Now we'll use few commands. The first command is sudo service zero tire hyphen one start. This will start the service. Once the service is started, we'll be using the second command sudo zero tire hyphen cli join and then a network ID. Now you know that a network ID has been already provided in our dashboard. We'll just copy it and paste it in the terminal and we'll click on enter now you can see we got a 200 ok status we'll go back to our dashboard and refresh the page now you can see that our device has been successfully connected we'll just provide a name for this device in my case i'll be giving it as kali system also remember to check this small checkbox as it will be used for authorizing that device into this network. Also now we can see we've been assigned with a new IP for that device. To check the same I'll go to my Linux terminal and I'll be typing ifconfig. Now if you observe carefully you can see a new network interface has been added. Now to check whether we can remotely access to this system, what I'll be doing is, I'll be using my friend's laptop who is totally connected to an another network. We'll be first of all downloading the zero tire application into his windows operating system. I'll click on download for windows. Okay, now that it's downloaded, I'll install it. Okay, it's done. Post installation, you can observe in the bottom right tray, a small icon will be created. Click on join new network and enter your network ID. After entering it, click on join. To confirm, you can check again in the bottom right tray and yes, we have successfully joined the network. 
we'll go back to our dashboard and refresh the web page. And here you can see an another device has been added to our network. We'll give the name as Windows. We'll click on the checkbox so that this device can be authorized inside our network. And as you watch carefully, both the physical IPs are different, which clearly means they are connected to different networks. I'll go to my friend's system, open PowerShell and type the command SSH username of my Kali operating system followed by IP address of the network. I'll enter the password. Now we can see we've been successfully connected to our Kali operating system via our Windows operating system. Now to connect in GUI mode, I'll type the command sudo apt install xrdp. After installing, I'll type the command sudo service xrdp start. Now that our xrdp services have been started, we'll give the command sudo password root. We can give the password of our choice for the root user. After it's done, we'll go to the application RDP which is pre-installed in our Windows operating system. I'll be giving my Kali Linux IP address for this, followed by the username root. And I'll click on connect. I'll click on yes. After that, it will give me a prompt asking for password. We'll enter a password and we'll connect. So here you can see successfully we have been connected to our Linux operating system from our Windows operating system remotely. Zero Tire is a handy tool with many features. You can go to the documentation and read it. If you have any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you like this video, do hit like, subscribe to my channel for further updates.